Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Leonardo's 12 months baby update. The last baby update for him, honestly. I am not that emotional saying this right now because I've been emotional like every other day now. Because this little boy is growing so fast and developing so rapidly. And as I said already in the previous update, he became a toddler now even more so before we begin in case you're new here welcome my name is Karina this is baby Leonardo he's turning one I also have a daughter she's three and a half years old her name is Michaela and here on my channel I share my experience ideas tips and tricks to try and make motherhood and fatherhood a bit easier on you so if this sounds like something you could get a value from consider subscribing hit the bell icon I post every single Thursday and a bonus video here and there so let's talk about this little baby who is -da 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 -da, walking. He started to walk soon after he turned 11 months old. Like five days later, he was walking full on. I have a little video from that day when he started walking. I'll insert it here. Bravo! <laughs> So as soon as he turned 11 months, he starts trying hard to take first steps without holding to anything. So literally that day when he turned 11 months, his 11 months birthday, he starts trying and trying and he would take one step, two steps without holding on to anything. And more and more every day and just like that, in five days, he started to walk. Now he walks more than he crawls, he loves to walk outside, he loves to walk just around the house like he practicing and practicing and practicing uh, he's gonna run soon he's not running yet but he's gonna try and especially he have to keep up with his sister so that's probably another reason why he started walking earlier than his sister did because he's just trying to keep up they're best friends they are getting along for the most part very well they entertain each other more than ever they play together a lot and of course yeah what happened you want you want this Woo. And of course, sometimes there are pulled hairs, but for the most part, they are so happy to see each other after she comes back from daycare. Uh, and it's just amazing to see and just proves our point, having them so close together. Uh, it was a good idea. Um, so, yeah, about walking outside. He's obsessed with walking outside, not just walking, but also crawling the stairs. Now he's trying to walk the stairs, of course, with my help. Uh, but as you know, if you've been following along, he's a very big boy. We haven't gone to his one year checkup yet. Uh, so I don't know his stats and we won't go for another two weeks. We just, uh, we were kind of a little off track, uh, like two weeks after he'd been hitting the marks. Anyways, that's just fine. I just, uh, I just don't know his stats, but I know he, that he is around 25 pounds and he's wearing uh, in pants his pants to be long enough have to be 24 months size so yeah he's kind of able to try and walk the stairs and that's what he likes to do he's knocking to, <laughs> knocking in the door every time Mika is leaving to school and uh, when we say bye typically we would go and walk soon after that but when I close the door because we have to get ready yes son Yes, Leo? What happened? What do you want? You wanna play? I know you do. He's so busy. So, yeah, anyways, he every time I close the door in front of him, he's like, no, and he's screaming and, and screaming so hard. By the way, he's not like that much of a screamer anymore. I told you previously that he got this habit of screaming for, like, for everything. Screaming to the point when we were scared for our eardrums. For real so I also told you that I was teaching him trying to teach him the baby sign language and I did not do many signs yet I was really using only more and all done and he started and he started repeating the more sign not always just sometimes but it helps us a little and when I saw him doing it at least sometimes it gives him motivation to keep going because it would improve our communication so much more so I don't know if uh, the screaming part is connected to the fact that now uh, he can communicate a little better he just calmed down or he realized that this is not a good idea because oh 
the screaming was insane and it still is sometimes but for the most part I if you ask me what did we do to stop it I, I don't know it's just the time passed and he stopped doing it um, besides that I wanted to tell you that he is actually able to you know squat and pick up something without falling and stand up again so that's great too again my first did that all like at 13 months of age so for me seeing him like walk so much and squat and do all these things is just uh wow like why are you rushing so much you know my baby is not a baby anymore and now it's official he's very busy he's very much into like everything he loves to try and figure out how the things work and he actually figured out how to kind of open our gate yes thank you uh the baby gates that we have around the house here of course there is like a special lock that even Mikaela doesn't know how to open yet bless you salute put that off so but when the lock is unlocked when the gate is unlocked and it's just you know, shut. He figured how to open it. Yes, come here. So that surprised me a lot. Then he's playing with some toys that I think are, you know, a little advanced for him, like putting shapes, a little shapes into the holes of the same shape kind of thing. Of course, he's not doing it perfectly, um, but he's trying a lot and he loves it and he's very persistent and he does not get upset soon and very quick. And I love that about him. Mikaela was just the same way. She was trying and trying and trying until she gets it and he's the same and I, I just love this trait I hope this helps them you know in their adult life besides that he is just so busy not as busy as Michaela again I'm gonna say it once again Michaela was busier than him <laughs> but he is clingier especially when he is teasing meaning clingier than he used to be um, so he has been teasing a lot lately and something that never happened before when he just wants to be held by me in those little waves of pains and that's it like that you can do nothing about it um, of course I mean you could try to give Tylenol and I try to do it only when I know there is like no other way or maybe at night um, but yeah what are you doing so still his favorite things are all the tech things like my phone and my tripod and camera and all of those those beautiful expensive things <laughs> let's see what else i wrote oh, no, 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 no. okay let me see i need to see my notes okay uh so yes uh you know those little wooden puzzles where you have to put back little animals and whatnot they're like 18 months plus usually he's trying to do all of those kind of puzzles and he can sit there for a little while and you you know be interested and be busy so that's great and just some random oh, i'm so sorry okay i need to get him busy with something so even some random things in the kitchen he would sit there and play with something safe of course um for a little while oh so another thing about like sign language which i will continue trying to teach him uh, is that he started trying to wave by he's not doing it always but he did it multiple times and i cannot make him do it but he does it so he's you know meeting his um little milestones that he have to meet also climbing i think it's also kind of early for 11 months old to start climbing everywhere but he does he loves it as i told you about stairs here because we live on the second floor he's just obsessed with them and he's climbing everything in the house um, maybe not as actively yet, but he's getting to some spots he wasn't able to get before. I am still breastfeeding him. He is still breastfeeding only for his two naps and for his night bedtime at night and then throughout the night, especially when he's teasing. He's constantly nursing and nursing. That's very exhausting. So I'm planning to try and pick the time and try to win him from the night feedings. I did that with Mikaela when she was 21 months old. I tried the first time at 18 months and she was clearly not ready. I think maybe when he hits 13, 14 months, I will definitely give it a try. I will try to win him from night feedings, 
we'll see how that goes uh, but I can see that he is you know getting ready to drop some feelings maybe uh, there have there can be other ways to put him to sleep for example if it's not me putting him to sleep he's just fine falling asleep with uh, other people and also in the car seat I think I told you that it uh, was an, a little more challenging in the car seat for him but not anymore knock on the wood um, he's still falling asleep there maybe not 100% of the times but he does and he's pretty quiet in there especially when he doesn't see me for some reason if I sit with him in the back yeah you want my tripod I know I know I know you do let's see what else can I give you and one more thing we've been dealing with lately is him trying to drop a nap it happened with Mikaela before her first birthday she dropped a nap and she started sleeping only one nap but then we went on a trip for her birthday and she came back to sleep in two naps and then I don't even remember when she went back to one but with him it seems like he's trying to but he's not ready because especially on the days with Mika, when Mika is home on the weekend he is so obsessed with her and so entertained that he just doesn't want to go for a second nap but then he sleeps really bad at night because then he would go to sleep very early and and then he just I don't know he I'm so sorry, can we take a break from this? <laughs> he nurses a lot at night and he's not sleeping well so he's definitely not ready for one nap but he was messing with it lately let me know in the comments when your babies drop their second nap when is it common to drop a second nap uh, and yeah, we're in this little struggle bus with naps one day is fine, one day is not especially when Mika is home it becomes challenging because yeah He's um, very stimulated by her. And uh, talking about stimulation, TV. Did I tell you before that he is not nearly as interested in uh, cartoons, TVs, music videos as Mikaela used to be? Like, I've been using TV as a tool, <sighs> unfortunately, uh, for Mikaela since she was like seven, eight months old. You know, rarely, but then more and more and more. Um, with him fortunately or unfortunately until like this past couple of weeks it was not working like he's not interested he's not staring at tv unless it's maybe a certain couple of music videos that he really likes and then that can keep his attention for 10 minutes max when Mikaela is watching her tv he's for the most part he's not staring at it not looking at it he's just playing but he likes to uh, hear some noises he likes when uh, TV is on when music is on especially when there is multiple people at home he is kind of playing better on his own then I don't know why um, where are you going <laughs> that's so cute he just stands up and goes wherever he wants it's nuts I still I'm not used to it yeah he's such a big boy let's talk about solids so still he eats everything from our table but he starts refusing some veggies and I don't know I was just lacking ideas about how to serve him veggies which veggies to serve and recently I found out that he likes smoothies and I've been making green smoothies with spinach and kale and obviously there is some banana and some apple so it's sweet and tasty and this is how I'm getting him to eat some greens and some vegetables so that's not a bad idea at all I actually have a video with uh, three green smoothie recipes I did for Mikaela and she liked uh, thank you this is my camera case thank you so yeah and this is a ball this is your ball thank you yes um, we do speak to him two languages at home and then he hears my husband and I speak English so he is exposed to all three languages just like Mikaela used to be uh, he is pronouncing more sounds uh, sometimes he say papa he constantly says mama all the time um, but there is no other like clear words maybe there is a word that he's saying uh, give in but in my language um, but everything else is not very clear but he does pronounce and says a lot more new sounds and they might mean something but we just don't know and he's also saying uh, da which is yes in English so those little words are so cute but 
that's all right we're gonna celebrate his birthday i think i'm gonna make a vlog about it we're gonna have lots of family over and oh my baby you want to sleep <laughs> And I hope we, he's gonna have fun because, you know, for a one-year-old, it's kind of hard to think of... What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of hard to think of uh, some activity for a one-year-old. And especially now we're in the summer in South Carolina, it's super hot. So we figured a way and we'll see how he likes it. <laughs> what is he doing? Are you just trying to, like, sleep on me? What are you doing? My little boy. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we, we, it's time to say bye, you know that? Because we already said every single one just to say about you. Please thank you for following this journey. He's almost one year old now as I'm filming this. He's gonna turn one in just two days from today. Oh, no! Uh, and I just feel very grateful for every one of you watching and just following this journey with him. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe now give this video a like if you liked it leave me a comment down below how old is your baby and we'll see you next time next thursday say bye we want to wish you to have happy and healthy babies as always and we'll see you next week mama mama leo mama yeah and who is this this is you say leo